Thank you for staying with us. You're watching this morning. And right about now is a newspaper review where we bring you um, some news headlines making the rounds in some of the local newspaper and some foreign newspapers. Sometimes we do that too. And uh, right about now, I want to start with a punch newspaper. Let's see what story we have as headline on the punch newspaper and the punch police NNPP protesters clash more cloud over judgment. And judgment of what? The writer says. Courts, APC blame clerical error. NNPP, Labour Party, insist judgment ducted. And of course, this has to do with uh, Kano poll controversy. And the second writer, Yusuf Heads for Supreme Court says appeal courts lacks jurisdiction to determine party membership. And that's the major headlines there on the Punch newspaper, the Kano uh, Wahala, <laughs> as we put it in our local palace. And uh, there's been a lot of protests going on so far in that state as a result of this uh, court judgment. And on top of the masthead, we have some stories there. And... Uh, we have uh, Niger, rather Nijay, Nijay Janta sues Tinubu Echoers court rules December 7. Nijay Janta sues Tinubu Echoers court rules December 7. Fresh Naira scarcity hits Kano, Sakoto, Edo, and others. And another story there, federal government slashes wage award by 100 billion Naira labor kicks. We do have some pictures on, in front of the Punch newspaper. And uh, I believe it has to do with uh, what is going on in, uh, certain st in uh, the northern states there. Fintiri intervenes as soldiers kill inspector in Adamawa. Senate passes MTEF to probe tax waivers under Buhari. Police tear gas protesters shield Oshun CJ from mob. And 1.2 billion fraud, 1.2 billion naira fraud. Immediately gets 300 million naira bail restricted to Abuja. Those are the major stories there on the Punch newspaper. Let's take a look at another newspaper before we see what's making the rounds. And then, of course, we can start commenting. And then later, of course, you'll be our guests by also telling us what's your take on these matters in today's newspaper. Let's take a look at the, the Sun newspaper. Daily Sun, I beg your pardon. And the writers of that story, 187 lawyers, 16 sands to begin persecution of suspects, 1,076 arrested in 35 states. Now, these ha all these has to do with electoral offenders. And uh, we have um, some other stories. Fuel, we've supplied to last, we have supply to last beyond Christmas, Kiari tells Senate. And on that rider, Aquabio pledges support for NNPCL. And my question is, is NNPCL still a state-owned firm that uh, we get to hear NNPCL, you know, reassuring the whole Nigeria of supplies and uh, what the price of pump price of fuel would be and all the rest. And uh, we say that is now a public limited company. That's a question. And uh, federal government moves to unlock $300 billion in deed capital via land reforms. And former CBN governor immediately gets $300 million bill. We brought to you that story from The Sun also. And Kano Guba, NNPP protests, urge, NNPP protest, urges NJC to review court rulings. And court declares Buhari's appointment of uh, FCC's chairman secretary unlawful. Hmm. I'd like to take a read of that story. Nigeria faces worst economic crisis, says reps. 
And uh, we brought to you part of that story on the front burner earlier. And okay, let's go. Let's go straight to the Daily Independence. Let's take a look at what the Daily Independence newspaper has there. And uh, Daily Independence has on its uh, front page, the headline says, um, NNPP ask NJC to probe appeal court ruling on Kano Gubapo. And we have riders to that story. And um, the riders, APC links misreading of judgment to typographical errors. Hmm. How is that? Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the second one there, protest breaks out in Kano over appeal court's judgment, CTC. Appeal court admits clerical error to correct it as appropriate. I, I, I mean, appeal court admits clerical error to correct it as appropriate. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so funny. Okay, we do have other stories. Federal High Court CJ releases new posting for judges. Now, the federal, I mean, I mean, the judiciary is getting very interesting these days, Mr. Martins. We are getting, you know, this In fact, is a we need drama to comment script. on this, yes. A drama script. Mm. Can you imagine judgment? What was supposed to be a judgment? You are saying typographical error. So, typographical error. In how many lines? It's amazing. Typographical error, you just had it all through the judgment. No, no, no. A lot of people ought to be locked up. I keep on saying this. We need overhauling of the entire system. The judiciary now adds everything in terms of corruption in hmm. Nigeria. Hmm. That's a serious, you know, allegation there. And uh, we need to... Um, you know, investigate, you know, as media people, as journalists, and get more information about what's going on in the Nigerian judiciary. And, of course, get stakeholders as well as uh, members of the judicial the NBA, system. Yeah, I know and that. MBA, yes. They need to, we need to have a, you know, a conversation on what's really going on in the judiciary and the judicial system in Nigeria. Okay, here, the Federal High Court CJ releases new posting for judges. And now you can see a new posting, you know, things that, 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 that's the, that's been new posting, the overhauling of the, is it really the new posting? Is it really overhauling of the system? Is it just uh, a posting certain people to certain quarters where, you know, it will benefit certain people? Yes, that's been the case. Alleged 1.6 billion Naira fraud, MFLA secures 300 million Naira bill trial begins November 28th. Tinubu returns to Abuja after five days trip to Germany. And Senate's OK's 2024 2026 medium term. OK, MTEF and orders uh, probe into tax waivers. Hmm. FAAC shares 906.955 billion naira among federal governments, states, local governments for October. 